Hi, this is Miss Andrea. I'm here at the Fort Bend Discovery Center and I'm going to do a project with you today about engineering a hologram. You know what hologram is? It makes things look 3D. Actually, um, the hologram that we're going to make is an optical illusion. It is not quite a hologram because a hologram uses lasers in order to uh, create the effect that it does. We are going to use reflective material, a 45 degree angle, plastic, hard plastic that you can see through, and our phone. We are going to be able to make an illusionary hologram. It's a hologram when you look it up, sometimes you'll see uh, that you can use Pepper's Ghost. What a Pepper's Ghost is, is in the 1860s there was a guy, his name was John Henry Pepper, and he was an engineer and he was able to help the theater create the illusion of a ghost using this method that we're going to use right now. It's pretty interesting. I mean, 1860, that's a long time ago. And back then he figured out that if you put somebody over here to the side and put a reflective, clear like glass, um, and then you had it at a 45 degree angle, that it would create the illusion of a ghost over here. So the person was over here in a dark room, brightly lit, the person was brightly lit, and then it reflected off of that glass at the 45 degree angle, and it made it look like there was a ghost walking there. So that's what Pepper's, when you hear that, that's what it, they're talking about. They're talking about John Henry Pepper. So we're gonna use that method today. And the reason is, it's something really cool from materials that are really easy to find and a project that takes you like five minutes. Then you can go around showing people and they're like, wow, how'd you do that? Very cool. So what you're gonna need is some hard plastic. Now, you'll see a lot of times that people will use CD cases. It's really hard to cut the plastic on a CD case. A lot of times it cracks I and mean, it takes a lot of work. So remember science is fun, but it can be dangerous. So make sure that you have an adult helper um, to help you with this because you may do, need to do some cutting. And the plastic is a little sharp, so you want to be careful with it. What I found was, this is something I bought, uh, some hardware thing that I bought, and the plastic on it, since it was so big, I thought, oh, I can use this. And it's perfect because it's, it's hard. It doesn't bend very easily. And so um, I'm using this, and plus the, this is a trapezoid, basically, what we're going to use on the sides. And the trapezoids are what's going to reflect um, what's on our phone. So trapezoids all put together, kind of forming like a pyramid with the top cut off, are called uh, trapezoidal prisms. And that's where we're going to use. We're going to use trapezoids and connect them together. So all you need is a little piece of paper. And it's better if you have, if you have graph paper, because then you can keep your line straight. And I'm going to give you the dimensions for this rectangle. You might use the end, I'm using an index card. You might use the end of the index card. And your first, um, first number that you're gonna use is six centimeters. So I go right to the edge, cause I think that's gonna be easiest. And I put my mark at six. Now from here to here, it's about three and a half. So I would find the middle, doo -doo -doo, right there, mark it. And then I would mark another three somewhere up here so that your lines are... This is if you don't have a... If you're not able to find a template. So go ahead and connect your lines. Always make two uh, marks so that you know that your line is straight. And then you are going to make a one centimeter. So go to the half mark and go across one centimeter to both sides. And then you're just going to collect your corners. So the dimensions that you're using, um, you can do three and a half or you can do uh, four and a half on the sides. This is four and a half. So this right here is 4.5 centimeters. This right here is six centimeters and this is one centimeter. So one centimeter, six centimeters and 4.5 centimeters. You can also do 3.5. Um, but I like the four because it's a little bit taller. It gives you a little bit more room. And then you're going to cut out your triangle. So once I cut out my triangle, I had my template. There's two ways you can do this. 
This one is several of the, not triangles, uh, trapezoid, several of the trapezoids put together. And then what I did was I cut them all as one and then I just connected one on, on the side there. And I used clear tape. So uh, whatever clear tape you have is good. I like the scotch tape because you can't really see as much with it. But you need to be careful when you're putting this together that it's straight. When you make your cuts, it's really important that it's straight also. Because if it's not, then you're gonna have a problem. So what I did is overlap my tape and then I put my two pieces together. You can use glue, but it's, it's really difficult to use the glue and you get a mess and then it interferes with your um, nice image that you get. Cut off the excess tape and you're good to go. So how did I make that? What I did was I did several of these. I drew it, I drew another one, I drew another one, I drew another one, and then I cut it all as one. That's a little bit more difficult because in order to get this to work right, the angles really need to be right. It needs to be at 45 degree. And if you cut it and you can't score it, score it means you're gonna make a little, a little indentation in it without cutting it all the way through so that it can bend. If you're not able to do it right on the line, then you're gonna be crookedy. It's important that it sits straight on there. So it's better if you can cut each one of these. And what I did was I just taped mine on. So I would tape it onto a piece of plastic like that. And then I would use my scissors and I just cut it. And I cut four of those. Then you put them side by side. So you would take two pieces like that, put your tape down, put the two pieces together, make sure that they're aligned correctly. And you would do that all the way around to the last one. The last one you would bring together and you would put your piece of tape. The same way we did the first one. So it just depends on how comfortable you are with um, doing it all as one piece or doing it individually. I think what is easier is to do it individually because then if something's wrong, you can cut a excess piece off. And it should sit like this. It should sit straight on it. And that's basically it. Now I'm gonna show you the really, really cool part. What is gonna happen is you have to look up on your phone um, hologram videos. And when you find them, it will give you like a little square usually where you can put this on top of. So this part that's open, you would put on that little square and then you would lift your phone up and look at it from the side. And each one of these will reflect the image and those images will be directed together. And that makes it look like it's 3D. So it's the, it has the uh, illusion of being a hologram. It's really cool though. Try it. I know you're gonna try it because it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is Miss Andrea signing off. Bye.